For centuries, our imaginations have been captured by Antarctica. Yes, this beautiful continent is full of surprises. From the historic explorers of the 1800s to the scientists of the new era, we got captivated by the wonders held inside the continent's ice shelves. Surprisingly, the continent is not what you think or what it appears from the top. Instead, it is shrouded in mystery. Though the land is great at keeping secrets, despite its harsh conditions, temperature, and barren area, it didn't stop scientists from discovering blood-red waterfalls, ancient fossils, and more such amazing discoveries. And today, we are diving into this video to know some of the latest discoveries done by scientists in Antarctica and how they amaze us. So make sure to watch the video to the end, and here we begin. Earlier, there have been many discoveries in Antarctica, but that's not it. Still, there are many things unknown about this beautiful continent, and among various new discoveries, one such discovery defines how the ice shelves are melting and changing the continent. However, the greatest uncertainty in analyzing the global sea level rise is how the ice loss of Antarctica will accelerate with global warming. Two studies by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California revealed some unexpected and surprising data about the ice sheet of this continent that has been losing mass recently. One of these studies says that the breaking of ice from the glacial front has changed the Arctic coastline over the past years. The researchers discovered that the ice sheet's edges had been shredding icebergs faster than the ice could be replaced. The surprising discovery increased previously estimated ice loss from the ice shelves. The ice calvin has weakened the ice shelves and allowed the glaciers to flow rapidly to the ocean, accelerating the global sea level rise. The second study says how the thinning of ice and its melting led to it spreading from outward edges of the continent to its interior, doubling the western parts of the sheet over the decade. So, how exactly is iceberg calving happening? The mesmerizing continent, Antarctica, is crumbling at its edges, and when ice shells get weak, the massive glaciers of the continent tend to accelerate and increase the rise of the global sea level. Most of these glaciers flow to the ocean, where they end in floating ice shells around 2 miles thick and 500 miles wide. They act like buttresses to the glaciers, which help in sliding the ice into the ocean. When these ice shells get stable, they have a natural calving cycle and replenishment, keeping the size fairly constant over time. Recently, ocean warming has been destabilizing ice shells by melting them from the bottom, making them weaker and thinner. Satellite images also measure the thinning processes by measuring the height changes of the ice. Still, there has not been a comprehensive assessment of how climate change will affect Calvin. That's because satellite imagery has been challenging to interpret. So, scientists have also synthesized satellite images of the continent in visual thermal infrared heat, as well as radar wavelengths since 1997. Combining some measurements with the understanding of ice flow gained from the NASA Glacier Mapping Project, the edges of the ice shells were measured around 30,000 linear miles to the continent's coastline. Losses from ice calvin have outpaced the natural ice growth. Hence, scientists think it's not possible or so difficult for Antarctica to grow back to its pre-2000 extent by the end of this century. They also mapped 36 years of ice loss. The scientists have also combined around 3 billion data points from the seven space-borne instruments that produced the longest continuous data set on the changing height of the ice. It is the indicator of ice loss from as early as 1985. In addition, they use laser and radar measurements of ice elevation that were accurate within centimeters and produced the highest resolution maps of change ever made to the ice sheet. The unparalleled detail in the contemporary study revealed how long-term trends as well as annual weather patterns affected the ice. It showcased the rise and fall of ice sheets as subglacial lakes fill and empty miles below the surface, analyzing and synthesizing the massive archives of measurements into a high-resolution data set took years of computing time and hard work by NASA servers. The ice continent is also home to 5,000 scientists worldwide who study the region to learn more about its history and climate change. Its barren landscape provides them access to a unique habitat where they can accomplish their research despite the dropping temperature of negative 90 degrees. Yet, under the frozen surface, there is something going on that no one knows. NASA scientists discovered two new lakes buried beneath the ice sheet of Antarctica. They form part of a vast network of subterranean waterways hidden beneath 1.2 to 2.5 miles of ice. These lakes are known to drain 
and constantly feeling mysterious cycles that will influence how fast the ice sheet moves and how or where meltwater reaches the ocean. This key process is known as global ocean circulation. Here, scientists are talking about the water system connected to the entire Earth and its system. The water system at the bottom of this ice sheet was uncovered in 2003 by NASA during the ISAT mission. After analyzing the data, they found that variations in ice elevation west of Antarctica reflected a massive mass of subglacial water movement beneath the ice sheet. Earlier, it was believed that the hidden meltwater lakes existed in isolation, cut off from one another. But in 2007, they found that the fluctuations in Antarctica's ice height signified the movement of water flowing beneath the hidden network of subglacial lakes that fill and drain before their water escapes to the ocean. The scientists even understood this network as the discovery of these systems and moving water around with all the impacts on microbiology, oceanography, and glaciology. They also noted that surface deformation is due to active subglacial lakes filling and draining, providing one of the few accessible windows into the evolution of basal water systems. However, these systems are hidden 2.5 miles under the ice and remain physical uncertainties on future ice sheets dynamic projections. It was a cathedral-like cavern containing a range of creatures, the animals from the same family as crabs, mites, and lobsters. New Zealand researchers investigated the melting of ice shells due to climate change. During their investigation, these creatures swarmed the camera when they drilled down into the ice shelf in the river. They thought something was wrong with the camera, but noticed five millimeter anthropes when the focus improved. They did experiments in other parts of the ice shelf and thought they had a handle on things. But this time, the surprise was there. He added that while acknowledging climate change, there was the element of discovery. They were jumping because all these animals were swimming around their equipment, which clearly defined the existence of an ecosystem there. The project's lead scientist said the scientists were aware of the existence of hidden freshwater lakes and rivers below the continent, but these bodies have yet to be surveyed. Further, during their study, a massive eruption of the Tongan volcano happened. The instruments detected a significant change in pressure caused by the tsunami that made its way through the cavity. German scientists discovered a trove of marine life hidden beneath Antarctica's ice shells. Despite occupying around 1.6 million square kilometers, ice shells are among the least explored environments on Earth. Using hot water, the researchers drilled two holes in the ice shelf in the Weedle Sea. The environment was harsh and cold, with temperature dropping to 2.2 degrees Celsius. However, despite being various kilometers from the ocean sea, the biodiversity of the specimens they collected was highly rich. In addition, they discovered the source of light and food. They found 77 species, a count higher than the total number known from frozen continents ice shells. The team also said that enough algae must be carried under the ice shelf from water to fuel the strong food web. So what are your views about these new discoveries under the frozen ice of Antarctica? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button 